Do it. Is my little Do you move it? The massage place. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that wasn't you? Someone tried to open the door. All right, welcome to another f episode of Fresh Moment Podcast. Um, today we'll be talking about one of the most serious topics in our lives and um, has affected me quite a lot. Um, I'm sure it affected Lena and not really Peter. What is your weight loss plan? <laughs> what is your weight loss plan, Lena? I think I'm, I'm the person who has, I don't have the right to talk about it. Um, I, I, I think that. but but Lena, you you always talk about your weight loss plan. I see you eat differently all the time. I see no you sugar, no diet. sugar diet. <sighs> Look at us drinking this crap, and look at you drinking. No, no it, it literally no says sugar. no sugar on that. Whoa, yeah. What's your weight loss plan? I, and or, or many plans that you had before, but you could probably share with us. How can we look as beautiful as you, Lena? No, I think I'm still trying to find the correct weight lost plan but yes i've tried so much different diet and i think it's actually damaged my metabolism oh no yeah yeah so i think yes i drink no sugar i try to stay on top of it but mentally i'm struggling to cope like i think with age so back in my young it's true but back in my younger years i feel like it's a lot easier for me to stick to a diet and wake up early go gym in the morning like i used to train at f45 wake mm, up at six o'clock intense stuff yeah and then like and then you follow the diet because it's a six week challenge yeah i'll do good for like a week and then i'm like oh i'll fall off the wagon mm -hmm. but then like because i'm still training i have the time and energy yeah yeah so i feel like right now at, at my age i'm searching for a new weight loss plan because my body's not reacting the same way as it was years ago you're like, aging i'm aging and that's just something that i have to, oh, and, I have and to cope in with in no way are we health professionals so we're just saying yeah. this just from experience, experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 but i think cutting sugar oh my god it's is a big thing is a big thing so do you think we have problems with sugar like ev like in just generation of people i think like, there's a massive problem there's sugar in everything um but you know like i can't talk i crave sugar all the time <laughs> It's just so yummy. It, it is. But like, you know, we've, we've got bubble tea. We do. Yeah. And it's like, it's just everything that we eat, like yochi now is a thing. Like, it's just so full of sh What What's yochi? Frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt. No, just it's say froyo. Why, why is it yochi? Why don't you froyo call it froyo? was like that's seven years ago. That's the brand name. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. But it's like- Yochi. They, so no, the health industry did picks these- health food products but not actually labeling how much sugar or like how processed it is mm. so sugar and processed food is yeah. really bad for you yeah if you cut out if you don't even exercise and you just cut out sugar and processed food you'd lose so much weight naturally but some a lot of people expect to see that immediately but like you, it doesn't work that way it takes time talking about cutting out food and um looking at what you're eating i've noticed that peter you your diet has changed significantly <laughs> lately and i don't know if it tastes good or bad but it almost it smells looks, good it looks disgusting have you seen it it I looks have, so dry but it smells not bad but then when i look at it i'm like oh what is it fish it's fried rice or something tuna fried <laughs> rice i don't know what is it no it's our um uncle ben <laughs> It's not like Uncle Ben, it's Ben it, something. That's but it's not Uncle uncle. Ben. Yeah, that's that's Spider Man's uncle. That's Spider Man's uncle. Uncle, it uncle Ben as well. It's, it's, it's Ben it, Uncle Ben something. Yeah, it's the yeah. rice, the yeah, packet rice. Yeah. Ben and Ben's rice. Canned tuna. Yeah. It's it's not a bad like And then just whatever sauce you want, just put on. Ooh, well, that, that was nice. that was influenced by um what do you the trainers? No, Jordan, no, Jordan Blair was. No, oh I seen Jordan <laughs> eat that. What, Daniel? Jordan oh, yeah. eats Daniel. that. Which Daniel? Al Daniel. Oh yeah, he's really fit, eh? He is. He's he used to do, do um, CrossFit. CrossFit. <laughs> he he does look like a PT. Oh way. PT, yeah. He's pretty no, strong. He, he was eating it, and then I was like, "Oh, it's really convenient." It so is I went Woolies and just bought like a whole it's stack. Easy, yeah. My yeah. my shelf looked like the Woolworths shelf. Yeah, yeah. Just it's, uh, have you seen his shelf? It's like just, a cat. It's like a shopping center. That. But it's really convenient. You don't have to think about what you're gonna eat. Yeah. But then at one point I was, is this even healthy? <laughs> what you made know? you what made you want to eat healthy? Did you eat 
you obviously don't have much weight oh, compared to me. But I don't <laughs> eat healthy. Like I don't think I eat veggies and fruit on a regular basis, which is really bad. So that's why I try to eat you know, blueberries or strawberries. <laughs> blueberries. I just buy a whole pack. And he says, <laughs> like, I don't really eat you know like fruit on a regular. The, the, the food you describe as fish and rice. There's no fruit or vegetables <laughs> inside that <laughs> recipe. <laughs> What are you eating? I don't see you eat fruit or vegetables. I think the convenience of it. Yeah, it's really convenient. I think these past few days, these past few weeks, because I've been been stuck in my office. Uh, I I can't be bothered going out. I know I can't prep it at home because I've been here. Take, I want... I just, Show I want, us I want to see Show what, us what, what, I want to see what, what, what difference it makes eating. It does. It does. Like a peasant. It does. It makes a lot. I used to eat only tuna and rice for uni when I was like trying to lose a lot of weight. <laughs> well, you sure look like a tuna. <laughs> Have you checked yourself? <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, ooh, personal attack. Oink, oink. Um, <laughs> but I think. It's it's a struggle and everyone's facing it. We we live in a world with social media where you know you have all the hot girls on there. Like you, you can't help but to want to be like you know them. I don't get it. What's wrong with you? Like what do you think is wrong with you right now? I'm I know compared to like other people, they're like, oh, you're so skinny. I'm like, I know I'm not like big, fat, but like I'm. It's not where I want to be. What do you want to be? I, I want to be fit. Like I envy <laughs> girls who go to the gym when they have a nine to five job and they can look so good. You like, have a nine to five job. But I don't look as good. But like, I'm not saying I don't look as good. I'm just saying like- But you don't go to the gym. I, I just, yeah, I feel <laughs> tired. Exactly. Yeah. Have you been playing tennis recently? Um, this this Excuse week is the only week that I have not been playing tennis. Mm. It's been a very tough week for me. Yeah. Yes. But I have been playing tennis for the past month or two yeah, you should share you've lost a lot i haven't actually no, you, I have, have you yeah, checked have. yourself in germany video <laughs> like no you should be proud <laughs> i think fitness Put for me up. look i i go on this like fluctuation of like um yeah. either it is very i'm really big or, or i'm big. like I'm, I'm a little bit smaller but still big yeah but still big <laughs> what beautiful <laughs> No, yo-yo diet. They call it the yo-yo you diet. You can't <laughs> really. That's a thing. Yeah, it's yeah. a thing. Yo-yo so, dieting. It's so um, I just want to be consistent right now. And I think the first time I've lost a whole lot of weight. So I was at um, one hundred and seven point nine kilos when I was the most like biggest. Um, that was back in twenty nineteen. Um, it was just you know Rachel, my wife was getting pregnant. Well, no, no, she was pregnant. No, 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 wait. <laughs> the baby <laughs> was out already. You were getting pregnant. Uh, Archie, Archie's out. And, um, you know, um, in Chinese, we call it right? Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, like that one so, month. Yeah. Oh, what do you call it? The, so, yeah. In, in English. Oh, um, <laughs> you don't speak Chinese. I'm, t- I'm telling you. In English, I don't think. Is that basically one month where where the mother eats a lot of good food? Be- to, yeah. Like, oh, you had a baby. Yeah. To make cover. So, yeah. yeah, I well, Rachel ate a lot of good food, but you couldn't resist I, well, no, <laughs> you it, ate it, her food. it was made for me too, oh, okay. but she couldn't finish it, so I had to finish it for her. It, like, oh. it's really good food. Like, yeah, have to you go away, you go away. So, I was 98 kilos, like that when I first started, and then after that one month, like, my wife didn't go big, I went real big. So, I went, I, I gained like literally nine kilos during that one month. I just ate, <laughs> Must and have ate been really good. It was really good, and, good and then um, I went for a doctor's checkup. Because I was getting gout. Um, I don't know if you guys know what gout is. I remember this yeah, story. Yeah, I remember the story. Yeah, so gout is, yeah, I couldn't walk. Yeah, it's um, just, I'm in pain. It's just go. crystals in your feet. That's and it's crazy. like, when there's crystals in your feet, it's like needles going into the bone. So it hurts. So I was getting gout nonstop. And I went to doctors and the doctor looked at me and said, well, you look tired. I'm like, yeah, I got, I got a kid. And he's like, do you want to see your kid grow up? I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, you better lose weight. Ooh. And I was like, I remember this. And I was like, oh, that's really crazy. So I actually started running a lot. So every morning I would go with Rick to the gym. He'll tell me how ugly and big I am. And then I'll run and he'll still like bully me when I'm on the treadmill. But motivation. it was really good. Yeah, motivation. It was really good. And I liked that. I like, I really liked it when he bullied right. me. And, 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 and I started losing weight. I was really healthy. And, and um, I think 
I lost till 96 <coughs> kilos. Nice. So it's like over 10 kilos I lost. Mm. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, and I felt really good. And then COVID came and then I got real big again. Yeah, yo, yo. And now, now I'm starting to lose weight. That, it's really hard to lose weight. That reminds me of um, when the doctor says, do you want to see your kids grow up? When I, after uni, I got so skinny because I was like a bit bulimic. Like, you know, yeah, I was throwing out on purpose. But um, so I got really skinny and I wasn't happy though. Why are you laughing? It's a serious topic. <laughs> what? No, I, yes, yeah, so I got really skinny to a stage where I would stand at the bus stop and then my body would like shut down and I would like, my whole body would like shake or be numb and like I, I have to like have low blood pressure. I'm just so dizzy. And then I stopped getting my period. Oh, that's actually not so good. I, yeah, and then every time I sat down, I got up like this few times where I nearly fainted, but then I was so like. You, you get your periods on, now though, right? Yeah, so oh, mine Explains it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but like I wasn't getting my period and then I'm there for a few months and then I didn't know why and I went to the doctors and he goes to me, do you want to have kids? Do you? Of course I do. Like I want to be a mom. And then mm. like at that time I was 19. And he goes, well, you need to stop losing weight. And then that really got to me because I'm like, what do you mean? Like I'm happy with my weight. Like I, I want to keep getting skinnier. But mm. then you're telling me if I keep getting like or stay the way I have been, yeah. I'm not going to get my period. I'm not going to produce eggs and have kids. Mm. Yeah. So then that's why I started gym. And then now I love to go to the gym to like stay fit. Ooh. Feel his way. Ooh, how do you love to go to the gym? Because so, like for me, when I, when I went to the gym, um, it was motivational for me in the beginning, but at the end, it just got really boring. I think and you need just to try. Difficult. You need to try different things. Have you tried F forty five? Or like like um like like circuit training. Like circuit training, but you do with a group. Like so it's not it's not just typical weightlifting. Yeah, and not yeah. like PT. And then like when I did F forty five, everyone in my class was older than me. They were like grandma, like yeah, they looked like grandparents, and some of them were like my parent, my mom's age. Yeah. Right, and then they would, and then like in that class, like the one I went to in Wyndham was really good. Everyone was motivating, and they were so much stronger than me. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I was struggling to do ways and they'll be cheering me on in that class and just for 45 minutes and you do circuit. And then I just fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it, it got really expensive, like $60 a week. So I left, but then I took everything I learned there mm -hmm. to my normal gym session. And because I knew what to do, I then started to enjoy working out. And I think progression, Yeah. once you see like you, like yourself in the mirror and everything, once you see progress, you're like, Ooh, like it's actually working out. Mm. Yeah, but it's just like sticking to it. Sticking to it's very sticking hard. Sticking to it is so hard. Because it's, it's consistency, right? Yeah. And talking about consistency and sticking to something, right? Um, Peter, ever since I've met you, you've been going basketball. And oh, yeah. you touch. I mean, you play touch. <laughs> <laughs> you play touch, right? And I'm sorry, you play touch. And yes. that, that's motivated me. To play tennis. To play tennis. Because every like, time I say I go to basketball, touch you, like, why do you have to always go? You can come and eat dinner with us. Like. He's lonely. Well, okay. I, I, it's, I didn't, it's not that I don't want you to go to, <laughs> to, not, to not play. Like, why are you throwing me under the bus? No, it's, I didn't, it's not like I'm tempting you to go eat. I just want to hang out with you. I know. Yeah. What was the question? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, you, you, you have a consistent sport oh. that you go and it's not like it's not like oh I've been consistent with touch for like six months or three months you, you've been doing it consistently for ever since I've met you it's like four or five oh. years right I think I think more rather than the fitness uh, aspect. aspect of it mm. it's more of the social social and making progress because touch, touch I didn't you, did, my friend always asked me to join but yeah. I never joined and then I eventually did but I knew nothing about touch touch well, we played, it's called TRL. Yeah. Um, when we were playing that, I had no idea how touch to play. Oh, yeah, touch rugby league. Yeah. 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 So I had no idea how to play. Mm. But the more I went, the more I learned. Mm. And I enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I, was, I knew I was getting better. Mm. Same with um, basketball, because when I was younger, I always wanted to be in a team that uh, would get better and better, try to win. Yeah. Uh, that was one one dream that I had. I wanted to be part of a team that was really tight. But <laughs> your, your friends team. Like a community. Yeah, yeah. have a community. Yeah. And then Jasper, who was mm. what, was one of our clients. Yeah. We used to go high school together. Yeah. And then 
he he kept asking me every time he came. He's like, you should join, he's join, he's join. You should join and play touch with us. No, this is basketball. Oh. And then I joined the team, and it's really good. Like, everyone's chill. Everyone's has that eagerness to win. Everyone wants to make progress. People turn up to training, and then because we have that good chemistry together, and we try to make good chemistry together, mm. I think that motivated me to try and be fitter or try and work harder mm. when it came to playing the game. I think that's true. When you're part of something and everyone's doing it together. Yeah, when when you when you're in a team sport like that, mm. it's all you have people to play with or train with, then. That motivates you to be you know, better. Well, so, that's good. Yeah. yeah, I think motivation with and people who you go with, like you said, very yeah. important. I wouldn't mm. be playing like Rick, tennis by myself. You right? to hurry up and run and stuff. You know. Yeah, yeah Rick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, fatso, run. <laughs> you lost weight. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah lost weight. Weight. And now I'm playing tennis with Rick. Yeah. <laughs> is he still trash talking you yeah he'll try to hit the ball to one side of the court and then hit to the other side of the court That's and not be running cool. around he's like are you sweating yet are you sweating yet and I'm like yeah he's like it's good <laughs> nah it's really good though I actually feel like um, after I've lost a bit of weight and after and sleeping very well um, um, it actually sleeping. changes a lot of um, how you feel I think Feeling good at work, not just like with who you are, but physically feeling good at work because of, you know, health. I think it's also got to do a lot with uh, how much we spend time on our devices. Oh, that's a good you know, not one. Just, not, not just working out, but being detached. Social media, like oh, just technology has yeah. taken over. Like, like I, I still find myself with my phone before I sleep. I still find yeah. myself time. looking at you on my phone when I go to sleep. Me? Yeah, you and your videos and your pictures. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's the, thank you for sharing yeah. that. It's yeah, it's good because like normally we're looking at our device, but but, you're now we're, but we're looking at you with your device looking at you. <laughs> I, I think like the first thing. Wait, what do you do when you wake up? The first thing. What's the first thing you look at? I take a poop. The first thing you look at. My phone. Oh yeah, I do. I, I can't go to the toilet without my phone. Right. Same. Really? Can you? Do you bring your phone to the toilet? No, hmm. back in the day. <laughs> you know, he, he shook his head and was like, yeah, I do. It's about TMI, but back in the days before, <laughs> like when I was younger in primary, like before a phone was a thing, right? <laughs> I had a shampoo. <laughs> and you <laughs> read the contents. You start oh. reading it because you're just like, you know, taking a while. Or like, you're just sitting there and there's a box or something. You're just crying. <laughs> But now it's like you've got games to play and like you can look at social media. Anthony's planning the next podcast on the toilet. Hey, you know what? <laughs> what else talking about? On the first I'm, podcast we did, he was like, oh, should I invite Lino? So like, hurry up. <laughs> uh, you in the toilet. Hurry up. Like, honestly speaking, I I'm the most effective when I'm in the toilet. You what? I'm the most effective when I'm in the toilet. He, 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 thinks, he the, thinks at the max yeah. capacity. Like, You're no, 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 no. Full like, capacity. No, 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 no. Full capacity. I will go in the toilet. You just went from health to 20. And then you just wait like 40 minutes. Oh, no, 20 minutes. I guess it's 20, 30 minutes. Go. Oh, yeah. I walk out. And then Peter's like, why are you there for so long? And like, Anthony will tell me when he goes to the toilet. And I'll be like, I just I made, like that. I just the made, toilet in the office is in the other side and my office is in the other side. He'll walk into my room. What are you doing? I'm editing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go to the toilet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm the same. Do you, do you know why I have to say it? Why? So he doesn't disturb me. Oh. And that I don't I walk in. Do you, know, do you know what I'm doing in toilet? Making sales. I make. I'm closing sales. Ooh. I will come out to toilet twenty minutes later, and Peter will be like, "How'd you go?" Full copy, Pierre. How'd you go? I'm like, I closed. I closed three sales. Then not even know I was the toilet. The- <laughs> there was a time when, at our old office, Anthony, <laughs> he will take his morning poo, and then he will come. Oh my god! He will come to the office. Yeah. Like, I just closed two sales, yeah. and I did this all on the toilet. <laughs> Can I, can I, can I, can I, I wonder if people are watching this because they're the customers who, who are Look, closed this is honest, while Anthony right? was on yeah, the toilet. Honest. Everyone poops. It, it, they do. No <laughs> one disturbs the morning poop. The mor- this is really important. How many, how many times do you poop? I like to go at least once a day. I go three Twice times a day. Twice a day? Ooh, I'm jealous. That's really healthy. Isn't it's it? Cold. it is. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know, it, you, you know the story. <laughs> I'll tell you the story. It's really funny. That's why you eat so much. Oh. I was... In the old shop, I was going to talk, I went, replying messages and trying to close out. And halfway through me replying to this guy, he's like, oh, I got an Audi A5 black. I want to 
paint correct my car how much would it cost and i'm like oh. and then he's like do you have a number I'm like, yeah i do so i gave him my number Called and immediately. he started calling <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, do you think about it, it? Yeah, you I thought I was like, oh, should i answer it or not should i, I just tell do, I just do it tell us all I and, and i saw it it's like hello Anthony, we'll just keep it fresh 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 and then and then you can hear him like he stopped he's like oh hi and he stopped <laughs> and it's like he was like you know you can tell you can type it the the that's what I know yeah. when I call you you pick up I'm like where are you You're like what do you think I am <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah the toilet so that guy he was he said like, hi and I'm like hey hey and then he, <laughs> it got really personal like really quickly because yeah, I think he could, he, he could tell he what I was he knew and he's like oh I can call you later I'm like oh no no <laughs> 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 I got a bit greedy he's like no, 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 I, I can I can talk to you can you just imagine you like it's coming just coming to you. <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> so it takes like two days to uh, pay credit your car 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 yeah. and then and then he just hung up like immediately he hung up and I was like, oh damn, I think I lost that sale. <laughs> well, I, I told you about this. I remember it. It's either you or Loki, but I told someone about it and they're like, oh my God, why would you answer someone's phone at all? I'm like, he obviously wanted me to answer his phone. I was like, call me, right? No, I, I get it. Oh, wait, so you lost the sale. I lost it. Uh -huh. he, I, lost it? Oh. he never, never. Um, Came back again. Yeah, never picked up my phone. No, but it's, I get hey, it. Hey, if, if it's you, um, I'm just telling you, I go to the toilet like at 7 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> you can call me. <laughs> this is his poo schedule. <laughs> no, but it's, it makes me feel good. What? Going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you feel like you just detox your body. Yeah. 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 But it makes you feel like you've lost weight for the day. So, when do you weigh yourself? I don't. Do <laughs> <laughs> Why no. are we talking about no, this? No, no. Like, you don't like, weigh yourself. No, because you know what I've realized is that, and this is goes to all the girls out there, it's really important is not to weigh yourself. So, <laughs> no, no, no. I measure myself like with my clothing, which is not the greatest either. But I realized when I was doing a lot of lifting and I used to keep weighing myself, I was getting heavier and heavier. It's called, yeah, do you know why? Yeah, because I, I realized I was getting muscle. Yes. And it's heavier, but I didn't like and you know i couldn't wrap my head around it as a young female who's like oh i just want to be skinny i want to look like the k-pop stars but I'm like i'm just getting heavier and that really got to me and then i'll stop lifting and then yeah. i just get fat again or like and then i'll see my like the scales go lighter and i'm happy but really i'm actually like fatter do you do you what have you weighed yourself lately though no I, I, when was the last time you weighed yourself probably last year at jason's house <laughs> yeah i don't weigh myself i think it's important that if you are trying to lose weight you should you should be weighing you yourself i i weigh myself every morning i always it, it always has to be the morning after the poop uh, so, you can't, that's I, not I, would, so I would i would weigh myself first and i'll be butt naked because everything <laughs> Why? Wants, Why are you guys laughing? It's not a funny. Guy. He yeah. wants the most accurate. You wet. have to, yeah. You have to make sure, like Rachel Kato. She's like, even when she opens the door, I'm butt naked, like looking out in the window, and then I'm standing on the scale. I'm like, looking at, like, I'm looking at, and I'm like, oh wait, <laughs> I haven't, <laughs> I haven't taken poop yet. So it's that's not accurate. Yeah, <laughs> I go take a poop. Come back. Come back. Do I need to pee? Go back to pee. Come back, you're lighter Come back, again. And then boom. But that, that's I lost that. I lost I lost two hundred grams. <laughs> <laughs> Your poop weight two hundred grams. Yeah. yeah. But no, that's what I'm saying. It's not accurate though. Like I I measure myself with clothes because I know if I've gotten bigger by my clothing. But when you when you're bigger your clothes stretch. No, mm. like my jeans don't stretch. I, like if it comes bad enough, I'm like, oh no, I'm my, my jeans stretch like shrinks. Shreds. <laughs> Shrinks. Yeah, but that's just jeans. So you, you can't measure with clothes? I think just for me. This is such a bad way to measure. I mean, I, I would like to look at it when I get to that stage, like where I'm going, like sticking to a diet. When I'm sticking to a diet and like following my gym programs, then I will start looking at it. But because I'm so inconsistent with all of that. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like I don't have the right to look at the weight because I know I'm not doing anything. I'm not sticking to anything. Mm. So 
when I'm looking at me gaining or whatever, it's like, oh, I know that I'm eating the sugar. I know I'm doing this when I shouldn't be. So I don't want to look at it. It's like, look, it, it mentally hurts me. Do you weigh yourself, Peter? Nope. Why? Must be nice. Mm-hmm. I don't work out though. That's the thing. Oh, <laughs> like gym. I'm like so weights. jealous. I, I, if I could be a skinny oppa like you. It, yeah, my partner Jason's the same. We eat the same. He eats more sometimes, and he's so skinny. But just because he's skinny doesn't mean I'm healthy though. So you're not healthy, oh, right? That's I true. did a blood test that's like, last last year, and they said my cholesterol is high. That's that's a genetic thing, though. Ooh. is that that? I'm pretty sure blood co- getting high blood cholesterol is it blood cl- cholesterol. cholesterol yeah cholesterol. <laughs> high cholesterol a lot of the times is due to genetics. genetics yeah does your dad have high cholesterol I don't know yeah generally so- if you get high cholesterol when you're younger age maybe it's genetic because like my mom recently got it like a few years ago mm. but that's because of her age and because you're quite young so what do you do to get rid of cholesterol high cholesterol well, doctor said to eat more vegetables, but Diet. that's obviously not happening with my no age. <laughs> no, I can assure you that you're not doing that. Yeah. I think diet yeah. is really important. Like all of us are focusing on like gym and exercise. Diet is one Di- big thing. Diet is like, if you don't you follow a dinner? diet. What are you looking at me for? What did you have for dinner? We had chicken. We had chicken. We had protein. What did you have for lunch? What did I have for lunch? We had burger <laughs> and chips. Today's an off day for me. Um, it's, it was it was very stressful, but like yesterday, why didn't you ask me about yesterday? I had tuna and rice. You did? Um, yes, you did? I had tuna, rice, and corn. But it was like oh, a. But that was from my shop, though. Yeah, it wasn't like Peter's lunch. It had yeah. sauce and everything. It had sauce. It was tuna. He had, he had the kimchi gimbal with cheese. That's not mine. I didn't oh, eat okay. it. I don't eat that. That's disgusting. Okay, well, I asked some people. Wow. Like, that's that's it. <laughs> that is not mine. I don't eat that crap. It tasted good. I so you that. ate it? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I took it the cheese good. out. I took the cheese out and had it. Two. Peter thinks he's unhealthy talking to two more unhealthy people. <laughs> no, I think if we follow a diet, like there's this Instagram that I follow um, and he educates you on like eating what you think is healthy because in the media it's marketed as healthy option, mm. but it's actually not. So like, for example, um, I read into like I was telling Benson and um, Justinius I think I can't remember but like um, that boost one boost one large boost juice mm. has m- more sugar and like you can gain weight quicker on just that one cup compared to like a Big Mac meal oh no I was telling Henry and Benson yeah so if you have like one soft drink full sugar it's actually worse than eating a fatty meal mm. yeah and then like having a salad option with all these different sauce and cheese and chicken is not actually healthier than eating like just a burger. Yeah, but in like, it, it looks really healthy though in the media, like vitamin water is vitamin water. So much sugar, 30 mm. gram. Sugar's sugar. the secret killer. Yeah, I think sugar, if there's a documentary you should watch, it's called Sugar. Once you, I watched that, I didn't have sugar for like three, five months. It's gross, but of course, you know. Get back to it. Yeah, you get back into it because you know, just can't help it it's good <laughs> but you just gotta i think watching diet to maintain a healthy lifestyle is more important than exercising mm, yeah. for sure yeah you can lose weight without exercising process sugar sugar yeah my body mm. stays inside me i also feel feel that when you eat sugar um like for me i react to sugar most like very differently to other people mm. my, my sugar just goes straight to fat Oh. And and gout. That's it. I realize when I eat a lot of sugar, you hurt. Mm. Oh. And, and it, what do you mean? I hurt. Yeah, my feet hurt. Feet hurts. <laughs> <laughs> my feet hurt, and I have to go on yeah, like very but... strong meds. Mm. And and that med actually gives me severe constipation. Oh, I. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. No, I... <laughs> severe, severe oh, constipation. I relate, but not from severe like. No, not not like because of eating the medicine, yeah. Mm. Just not eating enough fiber, you know. Fiber, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, just fiber. It's you know. That's a that's one of the ways that I um try to lose weight. 
What's that Metamucil? Have you done? Oh, oh, it doesn't work for me. It does work for me. Does it? So it may. I never. <laughs> that's went. one way I uh, try to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> Just be pretty. Are you serious? No, I'm ser- I'm, I'm honest. You don't. You don't. But Metamucil doesn't make you no, lose weight. It, it makes does. You it makes poop. you poop. Yes. What's inside your stomach? Poop. <laughs> So at night, I will just put, I'll just drink two cups of Metamucil and I've got to, why are you laughing? It's true, it's, it works. <laughs> Search up Google, Metamucil fiber, it will work, it helps you lose weight. It didn't help me. It's like chia seeds, it will make you lose Do weight. Do you still take it? Huh? No, look at <laughs> Does it. Does it look like I take it? <laughs> Does it look like I take it? <laughs> you, you'll know if, if, if I take it or not, when you call me at night. What, what are you doing, Anthony? I'm on the toilet. I'm no, taking no sometimes, so- sometimes, sometimes Vito will call me and then we'll talk for like literally two minutes. I'm like, hey, just Peter, by the way, you know I'm in the toilet, right? And what would you say? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how tight we are, Peter. We're, we're so good. We can talk to each other in the, in the toilet. No, That's good, though. What's, what? That's good. That's good. That's good. But I think Peter's very traditional. He doesn't do that to me. Oh, Peter's very wholesome. Yeah. Why don't you talk to me in the toilet? I think I do sometimes. <laughs> what? Okay, I was like, so surprised. That's, that's only. But he's probably like. No, but that's only when you call multiple times. I think something's wrong. Oh. So I pick up. And then? Hey, what are you doing? Toilet. I'm in the toilet. And then it's like, you want to go out for tea? <laughs> yeah. You see, I didn't judge. I didn't say, I know you're in the toilet or anything. I'm just like. No, I Let's think we need to be comfortable with the topic of like going. It's normal. Like, going. like going to the toilet, like pooping. Like, you know, you know, when I first started working here, I'd be so embarrassed, like, couldn't poop. Like, and I spent a whole day here and I like, I get embarrassed because like, you know, I don't know anyone here. If I needed to go, I'm like holding it in. Because what if it smells bad or whatever, right? Mm. But it's like, it's normal. Like we should realize it's normal that everyone just has to go. <laughs> 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 No matter how if many it times happens it at work, if someone goes, you should. You know, my most nervous thing is going to the toilet to poop and then someone's waiting outside. <laughs> and then, like, they you know, know it's me. You know, they friend, know it's me. I, I, had a, I had a friend. I was we were at home and he came to tell me something. I don't know what it was. Uh, I was in the toilet and then I didn't know he was there. Oh, I knew he was coming over. But you didn't know well, he was I already inside. He, I didn't know he was waiting. Yeah. No, so I came out of the toilet. Yeah. I was in there pretty long and then I walked out and he was waiting for me but he was waiting because you mentioned about someone waiting outside he was waiting for me but his back was turned yeah. like he was like expecting me to come out oh. he's like but I don't want Peter uh, to get shocked when he sees me so he was turned around I opened the door and I just immediately closed it. <laughs> I remember so vividly he was just standing there like with his with his shoulder against the door just waiting you so can't no. You can't. No, he, talk. You, he, I think he knew that I came oh, out. He, he wanted to make you feel you comfortable. Can't talk. Yeah. You're yeah. the same. You're the exact same as that person. What? <laughs> I remember I went to the toilet one day, and you know how conscious I am when there's people around me. So I can't poop when there's anyone around oh, me. Oh, okay. I really can't. So I, I just thought I, I went by myself and no one was there. <laughs> so what was this? I, was, I don't know. This? I forgot when. All I remember was I went there and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like I had a really bad stomach ache. And then, and then I, when I finished, I washed my hand, I walked out. And then Vito was like, was that you? <laughs> <laughs> was it you, bro? Wasn't that when we were going overseas? <laughs> we were going overseas and we were, in the, we were in the lounge. And the lounge is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the airport lounge. We're at the Amex that lounge. Means you're not the only one that heard. And then we... <laughs> No, I thought he was sitting there no. with Rachel eating with my kids. No, no, no. It was, it was, it was. So the lounge was set up. There's a pods where you yeah. can sit outside in cubicles. <laughs> no, no, no. 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 Oh. <laughs> in the lounge. In the lounge. Yeah, yeah. In the yeah. lounge. So there's the dining area. Yeah. 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 Where you can, it's an open area. And then there's little cubicles where people can sit by themselves in a sofa relax and something. relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was there. And Anthony was with his family in the lounge and I needed to go to the toilet, so I went to the toilet. But there's only two cubicles in the toilet. Yeah. And it's really quiet. Oh yeah, yeah. There's, you were in just, there yeah, first? I was in there first. And then someone walked in. <laughs> but I well, I didn't know. I just had a feeling like, it was damn. Anthony. <laughs> See? That's the thing about us. We would know who it is even without looking at each other. I mean it's like- No, well, well, no. Peter has that skill. I don't. 
of like not knowing yeah, I don't, if that I, was Peter. Like, <laughs> Did you not care that someone so, was next to you? For example, for well, I didn't know. Okay. The, it, was, it was so well built. You can't. There's like oh, the divider was. There's no gap. There's no gap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Unlike when we went to Sydney, Peter, um, <laughs> I went to the toilet. You know how you have. Um, oh, what, what shoes did you wear? Normally, wear the, the leather one that you bought. The what? The is it R. Williams? R. Williams. Yeah. So he recently bought brown R. M. Williams shoes, yeah, and nice. um, so I, I actually didn't see which shoes Peter wore to the airport with me that day, but man, my stomach was like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I needed to go. I needed to go. So uh, I went to the toilet. And then the divider, you see under the divider, you can see shoes. Someone walked in long black pants and Aaron Williams. <laughs> so, I was like, you know, doing my, doing my stuff. And then, and I put my foot next to Peter. I'm like, <laughs> cause it was, it's, I was like, Peter. and I, I, I put my foot next to him and I slid, <laughs> slid on his Aaron Williams. I'm like, hey, Peter, Peter. <laughs> and, the, and the shoes instantly moved away. I'm like, Whatever, Peter. You think you're so. Was well, this the airport? Right? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, you think you're so freaking cool, right? You think you're so freaking cool. So I finished. I finished my business. I walked out. I walked out, and outside was Peter waiting for me. <laughs> and, and I looked. He was wearing his Vans. I was like, "Wait, that wasn't you?" And he's like, "What, what are you talking you? about?" Yeah. yeah, I was like, "Oh my goodness!" So I like, took. Oh. So uh, we bad. ran, right? So we, I ran, we ran, we, we ran, <laughs> we ran for it. I can't even try to this touch his I thought you were talking about the other, other story. Which one? Do you have got? more? <laughs> I have multiple. We, oh Anthony, Anthony booked, um, we, we went for a conference to Sydney mm-hmm. and then, I don't know if Anthony, so we booked a, uh, like a motel. Yeah. It was like a room <laughs> <laughs> budget budget motel because we're trying to save money ibis budget yeah, yeah and then that's not bad we went there oh it was really bad oh, okay. and, oh, it's, it, it, was, was. it was really bad like there was dead ants on the bed oh. yeah under the sheets yeah <laughs> but and the shower facility it was it was really small so in there was the toilet the shower. sink and the shower is really small and our rooms were next to each other yeah. and we were, le- <laughs> were leaving to go and then Anthony walked out. <laughs> what is it? I, I don't even know. remember. I what are you know. talking about? You, what, I, I went to the toilet. You went, he went to the toilet. Yeah. So he did his business. Yeah. That's and fine. Then, that's fine. What's wrong with that? But, yeah, but, when, but, he, when the man needs to go, he, he opened go. the door and then he closed it. And then just this waft just. <laughs> I realized, oh, this hotel doesn't have any like, no air vents. No air vents. Nothing. You know, in twenty in twenty fourteen, <laughs> I went to the same conference. Oh yeah. With Kevin, Kevin Yang, oh. and Tommy, his cousins, and Nelson. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. No, Andy and Andy. Andy. We all slept in the same room. It was in the middle of winter. <laughs> Kevin goes. Oh, Anthony, oh, we're all gonna go, uh, go downstairs under the hotel. We're gonna go swimming. I'm like, it's eight degrees. He's like, yeah, we're all gonna go. So I'm like, well, you guys go. I just had like <laughs> the, myself the biggest meal of Nando's. So I need to go. My stomach was like, mm. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I have to go. So, so they all, they all went down, right? And when there's no one there, You're like, Ooh. man, I, I gave that toilet like the biggest dump in my life. I was like, burr, 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 whatever, whatever. It was like, like, it was like, it was like a, no, it was like dump. Did you know what? <laughs> it was Richards. It was a really good hotel. It was what? It was. It was not fair. <laughs> Dude, it was. I was five minutes in. So I, I I cleaned myself up. I cleaned the toilet up. I opened the door. <laughs> I, I I was about to open the door, but the, the door opened by itself. All I, all I saw was this: the door step, step from the hotel door, step from the outside. Bam! Someone walks in. It's so cold. It's so cold. I can't believe the pool was so. Oh, oh! You smell that? Oh, you smell that? And then. And then I was like, 
what's going on? And they're like, <laughs> you mean what? It's not, even, it, it's not even about the pool anymore. It's about the toilet. Like, what? Like, so, and then Andy, dude, Andy walked in. He's like, damn, that's nasty. <laughs> so, the whole room stank like. That's embarrassing. The whole, the whole room stank like my feces, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> So we were there for a we were there for a week. Yeah. Oh and, no! <laughs> and you you guys know I don't like people around me taking a poop. So you don't like that. I don't. I, I told you I told you I get Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah, get I nervous. I can't do it. I, I get real nervous because I'm very self. I think that's everyone. I'm self aware. I don't like people listening to my dubstep. <laughs> so <laughs> we made a rule. If you need a poop, yeah. go downstairs. Yeah. You go to the you go to a concert, you go to the um, the, main, the, the public, reception. The public There's a public toilet, toilet. Yeah. and it's actually quite clean. It's huge. It's like five toilets. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so because I'm scared meeting anyone there and doing my business, I specifically put an alarm at one a.m. in the morning. Oh my god, to go, to go downstairs. To, to go downstairs. You to scheduled to, your poop. I scheduled my poop. So at one a.m. I went downstairs, took my pants off. You did your I was business. about to about to do my business, <laughs> so I came in. And about when I when I was about to do my business, someone walked in with thongs, clack clack clack, walking in. There's like five stalls, right? I was at the very end. <laughs> Out of the five stalls, that person to had to sit next to me. He sat next to me. He goes, "Sup, Andy? <laughs> How you doing?" I'm like. Andy, what are you doing at this time? He's like, your alarm woke me up, so I wanted to go with you. And I was like, I can feel my poop was going to go, and then it went back up. And I was like, no, I can't do this anymore. That was a really funny time. I have, uh, a, I have a little story of Anthony. Oh my god, go, go, I need to know. <laughs> do is my do you your remember the massage place? With a poop? You have to use the toilet. <laughs> So what we're, is it? We were we were really <laughs> tired. We were so tired. This I, was, this was the I other want workshop. to reward Peter. Okay, I think this was the day I was out <laughs> so for. Nice. This was when we were trying to see how <laughs> the media department would do. Oh yeah, and yeah. so we we're trying to get jobs. And that day, I remember I was really. I, I had like two shoots or something. Mm. I had to do Just Keep It Fresh and then I had to go do something else, something else, come back and do Just Keep It Fresh. I was really, was like, I was really <laughs> tired. And I was just like, oh, I'm so tired. Came back to the office and then we finished probably like 6 30, yeah. handing over cards. And she's like, let's go, let's go get some tea. So we went to go get some tea. We're trying to drink this bubble tea, but we're so tired. And then he says, you know what? I think we should go get a massage. Yeah. Look, I'll treat you for I'll it. I'll treat you for it. We deserve it. Let's go get a massage. So he, he booked in the massage. We went, but we were there a bit early. Yeah. And then I need to go to the toilet. I said, oh, I need to go. And he's like, oh, you go first. So I went, came out, and then Anthony went. And then he came out. He came out, and he goes, he's like, just straight face. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Quick, let's go get the massage. So like, why? Go, 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 go. Why? Why? Go, 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 go. He's like, what's wrong? He's like, I blocked the toilet. <laughs> Dude, those massage place, I swear, are so it's illegal. Not the massage it is the pipe. It's you. The pipe was illegally small. No. Dude, the, it, it, it just pooped too much. <laughs> The man's just doing his business. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's, he just it's, walked out. It's natural, the- but yet, why and, are we so embarrassed? And then he just walked out with a straight face. He's like, oh, let's go. We've got to get our massage right now. Let's go. We have to go get it right now. He's like, what's the rush, bro? We're like five minutes. I'm like, go now, 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 now. And then he does his thing where he walks, walks seriously and he turns it. I just bought the toilet. Because <laughs> yeah, I can't tell him, like, oh, he's going to go and watch. He goes, oh, yeah, Peter. No, yeah. Can I, can I say something? <coughs> the reason why the toilet clogged was not because of my feces. We'll never know. No, it's not. It wasn't. It wasn't. So, I was taught at a very young age to stop your poop from hitting the water <laughs> and splashing up into your butt, right? You put P- tissues. Poseidon's kiss. You, no, you put the tissue on. Yeah, the water, the water so it doesn't, so it doesn't splash. Yeah. So, I thought it was to stop the sound. <laughs> No, it's to stop the splash. And the sound. And the sound, yeah, probably. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I do that. No, no. no. And then, <laughs> <laughs> when I did it, it didn't really stop the splash. 
So <laughs> now I put multiple. <laughs> it's like too much. Mass times acceleration. I don't know. So I, <laughs> I put, I put multiple layers of tissue. Yeah. 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 And that's why it clogs. Because every time <laughs> I'm taking a poop, I'm secretly making a pile. A, a, poop, a poop pile. Dump, a poop dumpling. <laughs> it goes in, and then and then and then the paper grabs Ugh. it. That's so it becomes a bowl of like poop. one poop dumpling. Yeah. So what do you? But that, does it go down? Dude, no, most of the time it does, right? I was a. It's illegal. The the, the pipe was How small. Is it illegal? I press flush. I press flush the, the water. The go. It came out. <laughs> I was like, oh no, that's disgusting. Quickly wash that's my hand. That's bad. That's bad. Walk out. Walk out. Yeah. Go straight to the massage. Yeah. I will never forget that. That's so funny. It was so funny. I felt bad for the massage place though. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, can the, the you imagine cleanup. they'll be like, yeah. Like, clean up, clean up, you know, yeah. clean up, you know, five. Which customer checks the cameras? We never went back. Yeah. Which massage place was it? No, it, we don't want to do business. Business. Yeah. Okay. It, um, clean up in aisle five, please. That's so bad. I don't have, uh, I just think it's, yeah, it's, we shouldn't be embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. It seems like you guys are making fun of me for, no, um, I just very think natural. like, yeah, like the smells. Can't help it. Yeah. I think that was one time. What? I think it was, is it me? No, it was Lena. Oh, thank no! Lord. <laughs> <laughs> we'll save it for another time. No, it's okay. Yeah. Was it Agape and you went in? Oh my god. What? No, I think no. Is it okay if I say it? Yeah, it's fine. No, I think Lena went. And then I, I wasn't going to the toilet. I was, I went to the, the balcony. That's what I'm saying. I just went to the balcony, but then it was weird because I went to the balcony, I came back and Lena was looking at me like, yeah, well, what's up? Did you go to the toilet? To no, you? I went to, yeah. <laughs> no, I went to the balcony. <laughs> and she's like, oh, okay. And she went back to doing her thing. I was curious because she was staring at me. Like, <laughs> and she was like trying to see my reaction. And then, <laughs> and I was like, why? I was like, oh, no, I just went to the toilet. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> See, because I was scared. That's what, what I was saying. Mean? Like one time I went and then, and then like I, I was having the time. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> it's early morning. And then I opened, like someone tried to open the door while I was halfway through. Was that you? Was no, that you, Peter? No, it wasn't me. No, and I got scared. And I was like, I'm in here. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, oh, I can't do this. I need to finish. So I flung and there's no vents up there. So I had to grab the tea towel and just fell. <laughs> <laughs> to get rid I turned the taps on and I was just fanning. I shut the top. I went down. And then Dan was, Dan was on his phone. He wanted to go. I was like, oh, someone went in there before. <laughs> <laughs> you know, did, you, did you hear that uh, when. You were you sleepy know, before. You know, when you, you, your energy's all back, eh? <laughs> you, know, you know how you recently put the coffee ground oh, yeah. in the toilet? And yes. then that one time it was on, it was it all was on spilled. The floor and it was like someone spilled it. Yeah. yeah. But so I went to the toilet and it was all spilled. And then I was like, oh, it, but it was it was on the the toilet flush, the flush next yeah, to the flush yeah, button. Yeah, yeah. And then in my head, I tr I tried to imagine how, imagine how this could have been hit and then like, fall yeah. on the ground. <laughs> and the car was put up right yeah, next, to the up right next to the grounds on the ground. The coffee grounds. So someone spilled it. They hit yeah. it. Like, oh, and you know the coffee put grounds? it back upright. But then I was like, oh, how, how can that happen? Yeah, how did this yeah. happen? Because there was no toilet rolls on that place. Yeah. So yeah. when you flush the toilet, you wouldn't. Yeah, unless someone tried to flush it. Like, turn <laughs> what it <around>. is it? <laughs> like, you know, like this. Yeah. But we, we found out who it was. Who was yeah. it? It was, it was Dan. It was Dan. And we're like, oh, how'd you do it though? Like, <laughs> 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 what did you say? I have to Google it. What, he, what was it? He, <laughs> I, I I what, what did he it say? It was like a poop just... position where I can't remember the it's term. Like no, well, like it was, it, was. it was basically like we googled it to look what it was, and it was like a picture of like you pooping, you're but you're facing <laughs> the toilet. Really, it faces yeah. the other side? No, no, no. Like he, he was a joke, but then like and then oh. and then all these different poop position came up. <laughs> like how you get poop standing on the toilet, or stand on the edge, and then you just drops in. Yeah, so it was like it was really bad, but like you know, it was just, it was funny because like. He didn't clean up the dirt, but he made he sure just, the he cup. Just, oh, I put the cup up, right? And he just left it. There was a funny story yeah. that I heard about my auntie. She so oh. she she used to go to the TAFE to yes. learn English, and there was a lot of uh, different cultures in her class. Yeah. And he's she said there was a Chinese lady, and Dude. they 
So when you go to the toilet, you know how at the public toilets, the cubicles, I'm it's high. Sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. It's high. So she she was already in the toilet and then her her classmate came and she recognized her bag because she put the bag oh, on yeah, the ground, on the, floor. on the floor. And she's like, oh, we'll mess with her. <laughs> so while she was on the toilet, she she got the bag and she grabbed it, <laughs> like put her hand under the, to get just the, steal to steal the bag. What? She went to go steal it and she started shouting, she started yelling. <laughs> Her friend started yelling, just trying to grab the bag back. Yeah. Why would she do that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just reminded me of a story because, okay, you know what's a worst toilet? You probably haven't been because it's a female toilet, but the worst toilet I've ever been in Sunny Bank Plaza. Anyone who works there would know, or like anyone goes there quite often. So the public toilet near the coal side where the fruit store is, the female <laughs> oh, toilet is it. disgusting. And the gap on the doors... It's so huge that sometimes when someone walks past while waiting, you make eye contact with them while you're That's re- That's It weird. is really bad. But when I say it's really bad, it's because there's, sh- like, there's shit everywhere. Like, I-, I don't know how one time I went to the toilet and I opened it and there was just shit splatters all around the wall and the back. And I don't That's- know how it can happen. And that's not the word. And like, there's shit smears on the, like, you can see like three finger strikes on the wall. It's just like shit thing. Man, that was World War Three. <laughs> no, it is World War Three. So I, I never go to a toilet in Sunny Bank Plaza because all the ladies, it's like um I don't know, maybe they have problems, but like it's they always miss it. Like there's I found a poop <laughs> next to the bowl one and I was like, oh yeah, and it was just like a, a like a little piece. Like next to it. Yeah, so don't do not go into the toilet, it's really bad. I'm, really I'm pretty bad. sure they refurbished it now. I think it's yeah, really they have, nice. they have, yeah, they have, they yeah. have, but it was so bad. Like, <laughs> like people, you could see. You get all kinds of people in. Um, have you seen foot marks on the seats? Like shoe print on the seats. Are seat? people like crouching? On yeah, it? yeah, yeah. That's have disgusting. Yeah, I've seen so many. I'm like, oh my god. <sighs> That's a very sad toilet experience that it you is, had. It really is. Do you want to know my most scariest toilet experience I've Serious had? Serious or scary? Scary. Ooh. Um. <laughs> It was in your country. <laughs> in China? Oh, no, it was squat. in China. Um, and um, we went to Sichuan. 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 How, whatever you call it. So we went to like a, a farm place where they, they're really well known for chicken. And um, they had to take my, do my business. A crouching one? Yeah, it's not your normal crouching one. So it's like literally. It goes a, straight um, down. It's just a. It's a hole. It's like a shed. <laughs> and then you go into the shed. There's no lights. It's black. <laughs> Um, and there's just like one long line. Rectangle. One it's rectangle. just long line on the floor. <laughs> and everyone uses that same line. <laughs> and I, I, I asked the person, I'm like, so... What do I do? He's like, How do I uh, do it? Just sit down. <laughs> Don't sit all the way down. And I was like, oh my God. So I sat there. You squatted. I squatted. And I was just trying to... Did your legs give out? Hmm? Did your legs give out? Does it do a shake? I have, I have an experience with this oh, though. Yeah, does it but shake? It, my leg shakes. But it's not, it's not your normal one. It's like, it's just like a pipe. It's very long. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen that. And I'm just sitting there and I'm just like, trying to go. concentrate to go. <laughs> something touched me in the butt. <laughs> it was something hard. And I was like, I stood up, put my pants on. I was like, oh my God, what is that? It was oh, a chicken. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> the chicken just free range. They're walking around <laughs> the- everywhere and in the toilet. And you're eating it. And I, as soon as I, I, I couldn't do it anymore because <laughs> I got disturbed <laughs> yeah. by an animal that I didn't know. <laughs> I walked in and there was That's like, disgusting. there was like cooked chicken. And Ooh. I was just like, <laughs> yeah, these, these toilets are hard. I did it once. My, my, <laughs> grand- no, my grandparents in Korea, because they lived on a farm. Yeah. Oh. It was just a huge, it was a deep hole. Yeah. And you just squat. You just go, and I sat there for too long. I tried, to, I, tried, I tried to get up. I couldn't walk properly. Yeah, I, I could have helped you. Ooh. Well, get the chicken. <laughs> did the chicken? Shot. <laughs> the chicken yeah. No, it, it's a the thing. Does, did your legs get numb? Yeah. And then, and then when, you, when I had to get up, it was like I had to do one leg. At yeah, time. I couldn't walk properly. <laughs> like, My legs it's were needles. Locked. Yeah. So good. So good. So but you, good. But it's. I think your intestines just lines up when you squat, and just like it should be easier for you. Yeah. Well, that's an Asian thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. I. I. Yeah. Is no. that enough talking about? I think yeah. I think that concludes our podcast for today. I think we've 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 went. From, just got real, you know. What's your real. what's your weight loss plan? And I'm gonna tell you the answer is poop, poop more. Poop I hope people are not watching this while. <laughs> poop 
more. Oh, we should put up a warning. <laughs> Lose weight. All right, guys. I hope you have fun this week. Remember, guys, just keep it fresh. Just keep yes, it fresh. <laughs> just keep pooping. Messages, like it's all my fault. Got too involved. Didn't wanna talk to you at all. No mouth the door. But I hope you understand. I changed, I changed. It wasn't working out, so you know it's an end. Don't play, don't play. Stop playing with your heart, you know it never takes back. Come no delay. I don't wanna see you anymore, so I'm gonna get back. Back in my space. I've been independent, doing better than I was with.